Welcome to my channel Pharmacypedia. This is Dr. Shikha Chauhan and in this session we are going to learn about a very interesting topic that is about the platform technology, the role of the platform technology in pharmaceuticals. So if you are visiting my channel for the first time, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel Pharmacypedia for getting further updates. The era of the platform technology started long back in 1880s. So the first pharmaceutical platform technology was introduced in the form of the specialization of biotechnology. So platform basically means a group of technologies which can be used as a base and upon which other technologies or processes or other applications can be built up. In simple term, term, we can say that platform is a base of the building whereby we build other infrastructures, we build other uh, layers, we build other processes, other applications in order to have the advancements, in order to have the latest techniques, in order to have the sophistications of the processes. So platform in simple terms, you must have all visited the railway platform, the train goes comes and goes over there many times but the platform remains the same so this is the idea behind using the platform technology you must have all used the mobile so mobile is the base whereby different applications are being built up so it is the base you must have seen there are so many apps in the mobiles these days so mobile is basically providing the platform for the different applications to be worked upon so you have different applications, but they are operating on your mobile only. So that is again providing the base. So anything having the base whereby you can build up the further developments, you can build up the further research can be regarded as a platform. So the concept or the idea of platform technology was introduced in the year 1880s in biotechnology. It started with the monoclonal antibodies, then later it, it shifted to other technologies. All of you must have heard about the different roles of the computers in our life. So all the software operating procedures, all the applications run on the computer software. So the environment which constitutes the basic foundation upon which any application or the technology can be built up is regarded as a platform. So you can say in simple terms, in terms of the pharmaceuticals, platform technology basically provide a common method or a common equipment or a common procedure which may be worked upon to have further enhancements in research, developments and manufacturing. So whereby we are actually pr producing a standard protocol whereby you can build further uh, strategies, you can build further development of the product. For example, if you are making any ophthalmic dosage forms, for example, ciprofloxacin, and you are producing a standard formulation, you are using many excipients, you are using your buffers, you are using your sequestering agents, you are using your solvents. So, you have developed the technology for the ciprofloxacin ophthalmic solution. But now, if you remove the ciprofloxacin and utilize the same content of your excipients, or your buffering agents or other equipments, you are utilizing the same equipments, you are utilizing the same excipients, grades of the excipients, you are utilizing the same method, you are utilizing the same protocol, but just you are changing the drug. So that uh, ciprofloxacin has provided you the base for the buildup of other ophthalmic dosage forms. Other antibiotic dosage forms, ophthalmic dosage forms can be built up utilizing that single formula which has already been worked upon, which has already been standardized. So the pharmaceutical platform technologies are considered a valuable tool to further improve the efficiency and the quality of the product. So the basic idea is that a platform in combination with the risk based approach. Now this is again very important. You have developed the base, you have the platform, but when you are building another technology, another dosage form over that, you have to carry out the risk assessment prior. You have to check out whether the platform is actually able to provide you all sorts of the risk arrangement or not. Because it may happen that you need to develop further and you enhance the efficiency further so that the another, for example, ophthalmic dosage forms can be prepared out. You have made the development for the ciproprofacin ophthalmic dosage forms. So only ophthalmics can be worked upon that. This will provide the base for the development 
development of any other ophthalmic dosage forms you cannot utilize the same technology same process same method same equipment for the development of other dosage forms for example solid dosage forms or like capsules or like tablets so you can utilize you it has a certain limitations and you have to uh, thoroughly analyze the risk before taking care and the development of further dosage forms so as you can see in the diagram it is having providing different platforms the first platform the second platform the third platform so as you move faster you know, you develop the counterparts so when your core products and service frequently change it forces your employees and your organization to embrace the change quickly so like we in the covid era has learned a lot people have utilized the online platform for the development of many other applications as well so they are expanding the horizons so same is happening in the form of critical sector as well so like using the platform technology will aid and it has several advantages so talking to the different types of the platform technologies being used in the world worldwide the computing platforms are very common database platforms storage platforms application platforms mobile platforms and web platforms so talking into the pharmaceutical sectors we utilize all of these factors we utilize the computer platforms we use the database platforms storage platforms so when we have a lot of storage and we have different applications we have different uh, apps where which are being used we have different web platforms also so like we make use of several of these applications several of these technologies talking in terms of the pilot batches we undergo a lot of validation programs we undergo a lot of optimization protocols before the development of the commercialized batches so in terms of the drug discovery and drug development platform technologies are very much required they are a very significant and important tool for further enhancements and advancements they can provide the base upon which you can have the further developments for example when we talk in terms of the drug discovery and development this is again divided into five main phases first we go for the target selection then we have the lead discovery phase followed by the medicinal chemistry of the active pharmaceutical ingredients then followed by the optimization and in vivo studies proving that your drug is safe and effective and then you have your optimized drug candidate so it's a long process and providing the platform technology at each stage will help you in the development of further dosage forms faster so it will actually aid the process faster since you have the common platform common protocol being followed up at each stages for example the target selection if you have a standard protocol and you made that standard protocol for every new pro new drug molecule you discover out so those things become easy and it becomes fast at the same time also so when when you see the early product development phase when you have a new molecule it we need to thoroughly analyze the new drug substance we need to optimize it with different excipients we you do we need to have a lot of pre formulation studies so for carrying out all these studies if we develop a standard protocol if we have a standard platform that same platform can be utilized for several other products so it will help us a lot in the selection of proper dosage forms formulations it will ease out our toxicity studies and find the suitable experience it will also set up the specifications for your active pharmaceutical ingredients and drug products in the selective dosage range so once you have the platform technology you can advise these technologies into different uh, areas for example in the in vivo and ex vivo pharmacological studies so like establishment of the in vivo in vitro modeling can be done you can have the identified lead candidates and the development of the optimized product so so the idea behind the concept is to develop the platform for the ideal molecules and that platform can be utilized for the further development of another new molecules another drug substances utilizing the same process utilizing the same equipment utilizing the same risk assessments so like drug when we talk about the drug discovery platforms there are different types of the platforms being available these days which are highly utilized in the high content screening in the hybrid multi model drugs microplate readers and apart from that these technologies help us, us in the identification of screening and analyzing of the hit compounds so at the same time we require the data management quality control and other analysis to be used by the databases in terms of the medicinal chemistry in drug development and early drug development we need to identify the new molecules we need to have the structural property guided designs high throughput parallel synthesis structural based design computer aided drug designing camp 
informatics based drug designing so my dear students you can understand if we have the platform technology which has the common protocol being used for the development for the lead identification it will help us a lot it will not only helps us in the synthesizing of the different structural analogs but the, at the same time it will ensure that you get a proper suitable quantity of the potent compounds and reference standards for further assessments of in vivo efficiency see our aim is not to develop the platform technology at the same time we need to have the proper risk assessment that whatever a platform we are building it will be able to provide us a provide us a better product it will be able to provide us a product which is uh, which we can be build up on the lines of the earlier product using the same equipment same infrastructure so the team te technology was initially used by the bat technology and in the field of molecular biology in the identification of novel disease targets in vitro in vivo screens generating the ing enabling investigational new drug enabling preclinical safety data and competencies protein expression and engineering also it helps in the establishment of the structural biology and computational based drug designing and modeling so for that we need to have the proper in vitro in vivo correlations we have to be guided by the optimization process by the computer aided drug designing and we need to establish the effective virtual screening strategies to discover the novel drug hits and drug candidates at the same time we need to develop the platform technologies for the drug metabolism and pharmacokinetic studies also referred to as dmpk so providing the pharmacokinetic pharmacodynamic drug metabolism and toxicokinetic studies platform technology can support to identify the new drug leads it can also helps in the characterization of the drug disposition and elimination in the animals for lead optimization and identification of preclinical developmental candidates so once you have done the lead identification the next target is provided to the project management team who defines the different timelines for the development of the project and for the development of the registration process to get the marketing authorization by having thoroughly the clinical and non clinical aspects of the studies so this can be done once you have the qualified project management team and this team can helps us in the faster registration of your developed product talking about the new technologies new platform capabilities there can be various areas for example phenotypic drug screening platforms or the structural based and fragment based drug designing technology platforms or computational and informatics technology related uh, platforms or translational pharmacology technology platforms so these can helps in the further sophistication and identification of the platforms whereby it will ease out the drug product development of the new molecules so let us now discuss about the platform technology advantages now you know what is platform technology what are the different ways what are the different drug discovery processes how is it how it can be used in the field of the pharmaceuticals so it provides a lot of benefits for example it helps us in the reduction of the process development efforts so like once you have developed the protocol this standard method can be utilized for the development of other dosage forms for example you can develop the protocol for ophthalmics development you can have the protocol for the solid state dosage forms or for your liquid do dosage forms so once the standardized protocol is there you can change the drug and utilize the same process same model same uh, method and same equipments and by that you can develop the product faster so that there is a reduction in the failure rates there is a risk uh, but at the same time you need to ensure and go ahead for the risk assessment you need to check for the consistency in drug product formulations so overall working with the platform technology will help in the simplification of the technology transfer process we are very much particular about the transfer of the uh, batches from the r and d to the pilot plants to the manufacturing plants to so the technology transfer process becomes easy so once you have developed the technology transfer platform pro protocol you can refer that protocol for the similar type of the dosage forms for other dosage forms as well so similarly it also helps in the asset utilization for example the same machinery same equipment same line can be utilized for the production of other other uh, new mo molecules or like generic developments as well it also helps in the ease of document so the protocol has been fixed it has been finalized it has been approved the same format the same documentation protocol can be utilized for the maintaining for uh, development of another dosage form so it will actually helps us in the uh, reduction of the time reduction of the cost standardization of raw material and excipients can also be done for example if you have already got the raw material which are standardized as per your uh, one pro dosage forms for which 
the platform technology can be built up and the same excipients can be utilized for the development of another dosage forms. The other benefits of platform technology includes the reduction in the time and the resources for carrying out the preclinical and clinical development. My dear students, you all are aware that we need to go ahead for the preclinical and clinical development if your drug product is going for, for the first time in the market. So like if you have the platform technology, you have developed technology for one product, it becomes very easy to go ahead for and utilize the same platform for the development of another drug molecule. At the same time, it also reduces the personal training burden. So the people who have developed the platform from technology they become experts and they can train and guide to the other people working in that direction also the preparation of the INDs investigational new drugs and the marketing authorizations applications are simplified because you gain the expertise you gain the experience in and since you have the platform technology utilized you can use that same as a base and build up the advancements the documents technologies the um, equipments and utilize them to the best Thank you so much for watching the video. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel Pharmacy PDF for getting further updates.